Namaste, love and light, star seeds. So I'm gonna do another message for you guys tonight. Then I'm gonna be gone and cuddle with my kids. I'm so proud of my baby. All right, and she hit a huge milestone today. I'm gonna keep it to myself because I got oppies watching that be hating on my babies. But I'm proud of her. But yeah, you guys. All right, somebody, man, somebody vision is still crossed up. It's never gonna be uncrossed. Hold on a second. Somebody could have been um. I don't know, it could be trying to work with the cross, the holy cross, or somebody was trying to work with a, um, ooh, I'm seeing, like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I'm seeing, like, a deadly cross, like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, alright, I don't, hold on, like, crosses, that's what I'm seeing, like, crosses, that's exactly what I'm seeing, alright, let's see, yeah, somebody was trying to send you, I keep getting this, somebody was definitely trying to send you an optical, are a mountain and this this is supposed to be like death like you fighting for your life all right and i feel like this person man they just feel like giving up they should they should want to give up why would they want to keep going all right but yeah i'm seeing like somebody was trying to work with like crosses energy i can't make it up you see this is what i was saying see it somebody wanted you dead like and like coughing like death deadly spells they was doing heavy deadly spells heavy deadly spells because you were divine feminine with the lily this is my Divine Feminine card. They were trying to unalive a Divine Feminine. Okay. All right. I'm hearing dead, seven deadly sins. They done crossed the line with them seven deadly sins. But um, I'm also getting um my eye. All right. And her 42. I can't remember the word. Damn. But I believe the um either the sins is a part of that. The seven deadly sins or the um. I can't remember. It starts with a T. Not the Testaments. Is it? Or, or commandments or something like that. Damn, y'all, it's been so long. And I've been dealing with so much other stuff. I gotta get refreshed, but... Um, I just feel like they don't cross that. Alright, they don't cross my aunt's law here. Yeah, I feel like, ooh, somebody wanted a demon to ride you. They didn't even know how what that meant or how to handle that. They were just trying to send a demon to ride you. Somebody was even projecting and saying, like, a demon is riding you right now. Y'all be acting normal. Or even if you get a little excited, they be like, a demon is riding you. And, you and, and this person is drunk. I'm telling you, they are drunk, drunk, drunk. I feel like this person heading in a whole other direction. Like, a demon is riding them. Somebody could have been obsessed with money. <sighs> and, and nothing worked out all right i heard somebody say this is boring i don't know <laughs> but yeah you still watching you're so weird all right listen you guys are a star here chosen y'all could be making wishes feeling wish fulfilled following your destiny this person was coming for a chosen one all right they i feel like they did not know you know how deep the rip the repercussions are or the consequences is for messing with a chosen one yeah they were trying to stop you from growing all right i feel like this seed is not gonna grow that death seed, that deadly season, it's not going to grow for you. It's not going to grow in your garden. I feel like it may grow overnight, and their garden is actually with, written within their acoustic record that they're going to transition this way. All right, they could have sold their soul for whatever, for yours or whatever, and, and they got nothing but fogginess. That was not the key. That All that did was just unlock a lot more mountains, challenges for them. This person is a snake. They end up biting up their own self in the ass, whoever this false partner is, who is not protected. All right, it's like he's trying to say he's protected against you. He's not protected at all. You ain't doing shit to him. I feel like he wants to talk to you, okay? But, you know, you don't want to talk to this person. Yeah, they, y'all could have sneaky people at work, too. Just be careful. It's, listen, listen, you royalty. Understand that you are royalty. It's because your royalty, your spiritual, cosmic royalty, which, you know, obviously matters on Earth, too, and these 1% reps know it. And I feel like karmics, well, yeah, you have your whole royal power, royal authoritative power, and it's, and it's in your spirit, and people can feel it. That's why they see your life is, is, is shifting and, and working out righteously, and it was hating on that. You guys are definitely strong and stronger in your power, so don't try to dim your light. Please, always be in your power. I feel like this karmic is having a hard time getting this, de this demon off their back. All right, I'm hearing monkey off their back, and I'm hearing monkey and a wrench. Like, I, I feel like this, I don't know if this person was working with monkeys. All right, I don't know if this monkey's he just popping up. Monkey see, monkey do, all right? All this extra stuff, but... Man, oh man. I don't know if there was like a monkey spirit or something like that, y'all. I don't effing know. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> there are monkey deities, but y'all, listen. Let me, hold on. Let me just. 
this person they don't want to feel like a monkey holding a wrench no offense monkeys monkeys are actually into in, intellectual i mean intelligent all right smart but you know what that typically means it's like this person don't know what they're doing i actually seen the monkey scratch you know scratching his head like i don't know what to do with it this is not a part of my nature like this person don't know what to do to get this out of out of their system this dark magic this this nastiness because this is not a part of who they are they just made it that way to make themselves seem cool they can't get this damn um, monkey um, monkey or demon off their back all right listen i feel like this mind this person mind is discombobulated and confused all right i'm telling you guys all right, and they try to say this about you a lot. Anything else? Look, crosses, the cross, this is curses. I'm telling you, the snake, they're crossed up. All right, I feel like they had been chopped off, y'all. I feel like they heart, their soul been taken away. This is sad, and this is what they wish for you. All these people wishing for you to lose your soul. That's stupid. Do you not, do you not know what you're tapping into? You think, some of these people, they like, oh, well, I thought it. I ain't burn a candle. You thinking it just as bad as you burn a candle because thoughts can manifest. That is energy. That is a projection. That is illegal for you to project that against a divine royal being. All right, you ain't out here projecting that to these bullshit celebrities, so don't project it to me, a real deal celebrity. A cosmic spiritual celebrity. All these other celebrities out here, they ain't, they ain't nobody. All right, well, I don't mean it like that because they are somebody. All right, they have some of them have talent. Okay, but y'all know what I mean. All right, we need respect too, okay? Period. But I feel like y'all have a lot of love around you guys. I feel like hearts is all around you. Your heart felt. I feel like... I don't know why I'm getting with that heart felt like people feel your heart, okay? Like, people feel where you're coming from, all right? I feel like somebody was trying to dim your light, but uh-uh. I feel like you are a star in the sky, honey. Like, you could be seen within the sky, the night sky. That's how bright your star light shows. Like, honestly, I'm seeing, like, star shit passing by, all right? Like, the stars, the star, the star being see you. All right, listen, you, listen. I don't know what this moon and the star. I'm just seeing the night sky. All right, it's like this full past full moon could have like lit, like lit you up. You're glowing right now. Maybe you guys are connecting with the nighttime, the moon, the stars. Okay, wherever you fought from in the star, your star, maybe your star constellation is, is popping up. Maybe you're seeing Palladius star system or Arcturian. Like I just used to you tell you, show y'all the Arcturian star. It's like wherever it's like you're in a star. It, it's like glowing from the from the stars it's crazy like wherever you've come from that connection this cord is there you can probably even see where you come from and the stars that's what i'm seeing if y'all go outside all right that's for somebody here somebody definitely did try to send you an obstacle this full moon but the stars blocked that shit out the star beings okay they ain't playing no damn games they your star ancestors are waking up they like uh-uh not my child not my child okay listen this person i'm they, they even try to harm your kids I, t I said that all right it ain't working all right these people all these people got death on their hearts for trying to unalive you and your in 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 your seeds all right this is gross i don't like tapping into this stuff don't think i like tapping into it because i'm calling it out i see it and y'all complain to me about it in the comments so i know that it's real this is disgusting though i don't like it i feel uncomfortable this is why this person who was trying to abuse their power and authority is getting whipped right now by the spirits by the gods by the heavens yes the heavens they shocked and surprised i didn't know the heavens weren't like that i thought it was all hell all satan no hell is whoop listen hell in heaven is whipping your ass the entire universe is you do not know who you you did not know who you crossed. You crossed the line crossing divine feminine. In any masculine, you don't cross the line, you sneaky fox. Your partner was sneaky. They were sneaking around, talking with other people on the low. They're smiling in your face, making it seem like they not like that. Little sneaky ass mofo. They can't come after you because you was right about them feeling death on their hearts. It's the fact. You could have said that. Oh, you feeling, you know, what, what you're feeling is, is death. It's karma. They're like, no, it's you. Demonic ass. They will sit here to destroy you. That's how I feel. Honestly, here. Look, the mice. I said this in my member tree. All right. A karmic was a mouse, and I feel like a mice that they were snitching a rat. There we go. They was a rat. This is like cunning energy, mischievous energy. All right. You see what they doing. 
all right malice all right but it's like whatever this person tried to do it not only backfired on them whip they asses here they trying to get themselves out of it they don't want to be involved now but i feel like it just created more obstacles in their life like whatever they they spoke out into existence for you it just made things worse for them this person thought that they wasn't going to get caught like they can like be unseen in the night because you sleep in and i guess they could do little stuff at night with spell work i feel like listen you guys y'all saw this person creeping in your energy and the stars is like the stars tell a story it's like the stars were trying to show you and tell you your story I understand our kasha is written in the stars okay and the stars if you look deep within is little cities towns neighborhoods all that it's like it's, it's a whole nother world over there it's not just our planets that's within the stars okay so it's libraries hidden libraries all of that fields of just magnificence okay but um yeah these group of people with the the garden the gathering these they try to unalive you i saw the ten of swords all these people about to be betrayed somebody thought they was going to do something sneaky to you in the stars all right do so, like in in the stars in the sense of trying to manipulate you know the stars to work in their favor against you and they got caught the star beings it's like how dare you try to tap into the galactic realm and i feel like spirit allowed them to get here all right and they and they got here through like a loophole and they had to crawl out of them see i'm literally seeing them crawling out of a tunnel all right and you know tunnels lead to different like it's a portal you see on mario right that shit is factual all right tunnels drains all of that all right but um so i do see spirit allowed them to come up to the to the galactic realm just to get defeated and sit back down again it's like there's guards that whole realm is protected you cannot come you are not a golden archon you're not a golden archon you cannot come up here karmic these group of stink dirty ass karmics they're dirty they got these nasty reptile like spirits like not all reptiles are are, are like that all right but I feel like they they could be like a cross breed of reptiles, like there's different breeds of rep, rep, reptilians, of just like those different breeds of, you know, as um, Palladians. All right, even though yeah, there's a Palladian, but they may be, you know, they have different looks. Okay, they have different looks and different, you know, breeds and stuff. That's just not have not been discovered. All right, and you know, it's not really like okay to be like cross breeding with these type of like star beings. But, you know, the cross, the, the, the breed that I'm talking about, it was okay. Like, the other breeds. It's like other breeds of Anunnaki, Draconians. Okay, same thing with the, um, you know, Palladian. Some people will say the Palladian Artorian is like a connection. There's a connection. All right? But, yeah. I feel like you guys are very lucky. And I feel like these people try to cross up and poison your luckiness. Okay? But, um... Let me see. How long has I been on? 12 minutes. Not a long read, you guys. Let's see. All right, yeah, somebody wants to be your friend again. It's over. That friendship has shipped and sailed and sunken. All right, this is to a deep ass place underground. I mean, underwater. Yeah, this person feel trapped. This friend feel trapped. And their lies and their delusion. Why they have? Why? Why would they try to put you in this? Now they should have known they was gonna be stuck in a dark place alone. But they thought y'all was gonna be in this hole together. They did this here, okay? They were trying to focus on your your flora, your wait, your your yeah, your flora, whatever, your happiness. And and they got karmic. This karmic was trying to say like, I got happiness too. I got my crown too. God, show me, liar. You're a lie. You're confused. You don't even know what that means for you. All right, and you don't be going around saying that you crown just to say it because we say it. You don't know what that means. You don't even know how your crown looks. Stop saying that. It's not funny. It's not fun. Because divine feminine and masculine work hard to, for their crown because they healed. All right, some of them, you know, they, they went to a, um, a priestess, high priestess, whatever, wherever they, they received their anointing. You don't have a right to claim that. All right, and say it. you have it too just because it's cool for you. Cause that shit ain't cool. It makes you look like a fraud. All right. We have surrender and grief and sadness. Yeah, this person needs to surrender to their sadness. Somebody could, somebody could have really felt some type of way because you was crowned. Maybe they was crowned too at some point. They ain't no more. All right. They ain't acting like that. Look, 17, 10, 17, that's the star. I feel like somebody was sad and depressed over the fact that you a star. You're chosen. And that you're 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 truly crowned and anointed. You have no reason to lie. 
All right, these people, they're frauds. I'm telling you guys. Somebody was almost trying to, like, enforce. I keep getting somebody enforcing shit on you, and it does not make any sense what they're enforcing. It just, they're discombobulated idea. This person, I'm seeing them looking at you with so much anger. Like, they was angry. Like, they was possessed. All right, like, they, 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 like, they, like, this is someone, they, if they claim their ancestor, they're an angry ancestor, a bitter, unhealed ancestor that is angry and crazy. All right, they're not healed. They're not healing their bloodline. They're not doing any real ancestral work. A fake friend feel like y'all have some unfinished business. She wants your forgiveness, but I won't trust her as. I feel like she just want to get closer to whatever relationship, like get, get closer to your soulmate. All right, in a sense of figure out who your soulmate is, she wants to know your business. That's what I feel. She may figure and sense you in a new relationship. She wants to get the deeds on your life. All right, and that's none of her business. All right, she wants to mirror your energy. I feel like she wants to be just like you spiritually. Talk like you, express herself like you. Uh-uh. She, she's a copycat with this robotic. She's a copycat. That's her being a robot, all right, because that's not who she is, even if she's very expressive. Y'all express each other. Y'all express each other emotions, feelings, or thoughts differently. Y'all not the same, even if y'all talk about the same topic, all right? She needs to stop. Some of y'all could be 26, 38, 35, 37. Or 48 here. Yeah, this this friend now feel like y'all best friends. Y'all have y'all reciprocal or y'all in sync. Y'all can be cool. I don't trust it. I feel like this karmic is this karmic friend's a waste of time. And I feel like with this sun died, sun dead, they're missing pieces. This karmic, I feel like they could be going through a breakup after they done try to fucking unalive you over a man. I'm getting over a karmic masculine. Now they breaking up with that masculine. Now they want to come back around and be cool with you, but they were just trying to unalive you for that. You know they you know they messed up in the head. You know that they not righteous. You know that, right, Star Seas? Alright, they feel bad. They know that they chaotic and they have all these daddy issues. They like my dad wasn't around, so that's why, you know, I cling on men and it drives like it drives you crazy because you are also possessive and you want to feel accepted and wanted by an outside source. Because if you really accept yourself, your true self would not accept that type of masculine you was dealing with, karmic. And then you it turns you against your own friend. Alright, karmic. Like, you need to get a grip. You need to go heal. You're, you're traumatized. You have traumas. Your traumas got you acting this way. A lot of these karmics was hiding so long from their traumas and trying to say things. I don't know why I'm feeling this. I don't understand why I'm feeling that. Bitch, you traumatized. You hurt yourself more trying to hurt somebody else. And then you already was dealing with other traumas. You're, you're not healthy. You're, you're emotionally unstable, unhealthy. You're energetically unhealthy. Your, your trauma is like this person, got, I'm seeing like, they, they spiritual stench smell so bad. They smell like a dead corpse. All right, they don't realize that all the sacrifices they made, made them smell like a corpse because these sacrifices was for them to gain the one of you, not for them to gain and, and just be happy and fulfilled. They, Faith, they're about to receive their karma. I said this on Patreon, y'all subscribe. I, I should have been saying, I should have said that. You guys, please join my Patreon. Please do not forget about. I'm about to um start promoting it again. All right, but please, please, so um join my my Patreon because there's exclusive content there. If you're on Instagram, follow my Instagram and subscribe to my IG. I do coaching there. I'm gonna coach you um my subscribers on traumas, how to heal traumas. All right, and um yeah like we need this type of information it's not that i'm trying to give the good stuff for people that pay but i give so much free stuff anyway my readings be long a lot of people don't appreciate my reads not you guys but you know karmic energy will come and absorb or just whoever even if somebody didn't come with karmic energy but they just switching up because they're not happy you know i gotta protect my worth too i gotta protect my information so it's like i can't give everything out you know it's like this. Some content is, is exclusive for people that want to receive the exclusive content. It's not really me. It's not about me receiving the money because it was only like four ninety nine. How much y'all think I'm gonna get from that? A thousand fucking dollars? I'm gonna need a whole bunch of fucking followers, and and it will come. All right, but I'm good with what I have now because we're growing. All right, but my whole thing is, is like you're paying for for this healing for this exclusive content. You know, this is for your your healing journey. You pay for drinks. You pay for your 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 substance abuse. You'll pay for nice clothes to go out on a date. All right. You'll pay a, a, a quick babysitter so you can go out to the you know go out and do what your do your thing. All right. You pay to get your 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 nails, hair done. 
What's wrong with you paying $4.99 or $4.44 for some readings or for some exclusive content? All right? And nobody ain't saying shit when you spending all that extra money on material things, but you complaining when it comes down to spirituality because you're cheap. You're cheap with yourself. I can tell you cheap with yourself because you allowing these, these, these type of people to cheap your ass. Then you expect us to be cheap. I'm not going to be cheap. No. All right, like I said, a lot of karmics come in my energy and, and take all the good energy, all the readings, all right, all the good downloads. They want to call half of them the crazy, but writing them down and saying that applies to them, and I stole that from them, and da ba la ba la ba la ba la All right, and I'm just sick and tired, okay? I'm just honestly sick and tired. But 2020, all right, let me, um... Yeah, synchronicity. Oh, listen, I feel like this reading resonates with you guys, at least the ones that wants the healing. If you don't want the healing, it's not going to resonate with you because you want to stay in a toxic makeup and breakup relationship with a man or woman that's detached from you and don't give, really, don't, really don't give a fuck about you. Divine Feminine Masculine could have cared about you a little bit more than this motherfucker here. I could tell you, with that mofo here, I could tell you that. Stay optimistic, star seeds. all right? These karmics are trying to, like, make you feel like you, you don't deserve love or you're in love. That's not going to work. All right, but um, shame on them, you know, because they need quality time for themselves. I, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what karmic that's here, watching tarot, and you expect the reader to say you meant to be with a karmic man or woman. You are spiraling. You are spiraling out. You are spiraling out. Okay. You are spiraling for you to think that it's okay for a reader to tap into this toxic shit all the time and tell you it's okay to be with this man. Yeah, he got third party. Yeah, he's abusive and, and emotionally, physically, uh, mentally, verbally. But that's your twin. Twins go, do you want me to say that shit? Get the fuck out of here. These little, look at this crazy ass. This is why, she, this is why these, 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 this karmic, I, I said she or he is holding a grudge because you done told them that something around them is toxic. And they want to, yeah, you listen, you destroyed their little fantasy. They thought they was living the life. They did. They really thought they was living the life. Mm -hmm, the fast life, the free life. Now these karmic trying to fight against these delusions that they was living in this fantasy. Like, you know, they're realizing like they, a part of them was trying to fight against reality. And now they're trying to fight against the delusion because they realize you're right. But you, you ain't right because you want to prove to them you're right. You're right because this is what is it, true and this is what's best for them. Why they want to try to hold on to something that ain't good for them? Yeah, it's like they try to reject you and hold on to a karmic. Some of them may try to say, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Like, stop acting stupid. Just admit that you want to hold on to somebody that's karmic for you because of whatever codependent, addictive issue that you may have. It could even be about money. All right, but that ain't going to solve your damn problems. That man, he don't got enough money to pay off your karmic debt with yourself. All right, yeah. So stop taking from yourself to help him. I feel like these karmics need healing. They, they so damn traumatized. This tower got them so traumatized. These breakups. These chaotic breakups that they go through because of third parties. And a mofo, uh, this friend could have thought that her head was bad. I'm telling you, her head is like hard as a rock. and ain't nothing in it. All right? But she was like going crazy, like thinking that you one of the people, like you an enemy. She can't trust you. You one of the people that's trying to talk to this this crazy man that be having her in like 11 ass third party situations. Uh, like literally 11 is saying that y'all can be seeing 11 11 or he, he, he played her so many times. There's no way it could be you. And this is happening to her ass to show her that she needs to heal. All right. It's like you could have tried to call her, hit her up. And I'm getting some of y'all, you know, I... I'm getting, she could even call you, and you answered the phone, and it was chaos going on, fighting. All right, tell, and this person was telling you to come over, Monty, go in the shower. And this, and this person was telling you to come over here, I need your help. I don't know if y'all went over there or not. We have Cancer Energy, Aries, Scorpio as well. I don't know, but somebody, I feel like y'all also could have hit up this person thinking this was going to be friendly, and she was fighting. Like, you know, no, I, I'm tired of this dude. Like, she was actually fighting on the phone. Like, I'm tired of him. And you like, well, can I call you back? Or well, what happened? And she was like, no, da 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 da. Like, you know, it's like y'all need to stay out of that. I feel like she switched up on you the moment that happened because she started to think you called around that time. That's probably a sign that you got something going on too. Like, why would that be a sign? Like, they would have been found out. They already going through their phone. They already went through all the deleted messages and all the fucking hidden phone calls and contacts. They know this man is a player. And somebody tried to hide the fact that they man that's a player is a player. He's not a player. He's not like that. He may fuck bitches, but he ain't like that. He be online, yeah, but 
he ain't worrying about them girls like that. You know, he really care about me. And I realize you wanted his attention, too. Girl, I'm so done with these petty girls. These girls, all they, it's like, all they depend on is Pee Wee. That's it. That's their life. That they, they That is their life dedication. Pee Wee. And holding a man down and controlling him. Pee Wee. That's it. These are like, you know, let's say lower level Kardashians. All right, because they're Jezebels and they're willing to like hold a man and control him for their own benefit and be jealous against other divine feminines. All right, because they know they're not divine. They know where they come from. They come from the damn gutters. Some of these bitches come from the grave. What the hell? I'm seeing what the hell is that? I mean, some of them come from the grave. Like, some of their soul parts came from the damn grave. That's weird. Or let's. Mm, I don't know what that means. All right. Unless they're collecting souls from the grave. Yeah. Well, they worked in the souls in the, in the graveyard in the past life. Y'all, I don't know. But they may have said, I'm from the graveyard. They could have said, I'm from the grave. I, 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 I'm a zombie. I'm a reincarnated zombie. Some shit. I don't fucking know. They were trying to scare you. But y'all special. The unicorn and the impress. Y'all are special, all right? And this is why they was, it, it was heavy for them. It was insecure. They were like, oh, he going to want you next. I can't have no bitches around me, all right? Because they all just want my man. Girl, bye. I will, listen, y'all, like, I will vomit in his face. I will vomit in both of y'all face and let y'all know I, he, is dis, he is distasteful. And the shit that he put that this broad through, you'll be a fool to even want him. I know y'all don't want this man. I know y'all don't. I'm not just saying that because I'm a reader and I want y'all to be like, oh, yeah, I know y'all don't want this man because the reading would have came out differently. All right, these motherfuckers want to claim they're readers. But they don't understand how energy flows. All right, these comments, man, they, they were just foolish for trying to come in between you and your higher self. All right, and they could still be trying to do it. It ain't going to work. Yeah, doing a lot of sneaky stuff, it ain't going to work. You're just going to get yourself stuck and locked up from it. I know you tired of getting all this negative attention of people feeling you just in this narcissistic energy. I know you tired of feeling like you better than than everybody, but yet God breaks it down to you that you're not better than no one. You're just living in a fantasy. I know you're tired of being angry. Shit, I'm I'm tired of you being angry. Why don't you just go heal? Put this shit to end. Stop betraying and sabotaging yourself and just go heal. Because the more you be sneaky, the more you get to the Ten of Swords. And if you do something foolish, the Ten of Swords is going to follow you. All right, because you're facing an impress. So either way it goes, you can't escape. I don't know who this bitch is telling you otherwise. She's a liar. She's, she's pushing you to pass away. She's pushing you towards your death if you keep listening to her. All right, this mofo, this person could be spying, tapping in. Somebody's tapping in and listening. I'm telling you. All right, yeah, and I feel like this is either them trying to tap in and listen to you in the astral realm. All right, or this could be like telephones and stuff. All right, listen, I feel like spirit definitely did try to stop them from tapping in in the past. I feel like how the spirit stopped them. I feel like, okay, stop them tapping in in the past if there was an astral projection. I feel like spirit is doing it now. But if this person's actually tapped into your phone, I feel like spirit is going to block this person by getting the law enforcement after them. Like, that's, that door is about to open up. This Because that's illegal. All right, yeah, that's law enforcement right there. I feel like, listen, this is someone that's going to get their whole family locked up. This is my police car, too, and ambulance. All right, but the police coming for their family, more police. It's like, a, like SWAT, FBI type of shit. Well, because they listened to this Queen of Swords when she told him to do something illegal. And he was stupid enough to do it. And then he, he probably got the nerve to say, well, such and such told me to do it. Like, how old are you? This is why you don't want to be with them if this is an ex. And if this is a friend, you set up. I'm getting scamming. Like, man, this friend better chill out. You know, my, my whole thing is, it's like, this friend ain't living life right. I don't know what y'all do. Y'all do. I feel like y'all pretty righteous for the most part. But this friend, they ain't living life right. They doing a lot of illegal shit on the side. And plus doing spiritual illegal stuff. You know your time is about to come. Alright, but y'all, yeah, I'm about to go because, um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> it wasn't a long reading this time. Y'all, that was just... Oh, wait. I'm going to pull a few more of my other cards. Because they on my bed. That's why they ain't coming up in my head. 
Oh, and I'm sorry I had to go through this with these people, this delusion. All right, all because they was insecure. They, in, they have insincere spirits, and, and they won't heal. They're traumatized. They won't heal their traumas. They would rather sit in it because they're so used to it. It's like it doesn't make them feel better, but it makes their feel it makes their ego feel comfortable. They're afraid to step out and take a leap of faith towards healing and being a better person. They've been their ego been feeding off of them for so damn long and they've been acting that way for so long and getting away with it. They feel like it's okay. It's normal to be two faced. It's normal to gossip. It's normal to throw black magic at people without fully knowing the story. It's normal to feel like God is talking to me and telling me to do something illegal and then listening to someone else that tells me to do something you know how normal that is that is so normal in their minds and it's not normal but that's that's their reality their their reality is not normal all right they want things to work in their favor all right yeah momentum you guys are moving forward very fast i feel like this person definitely hates to see the fact that you're moving on if they're reading cards and seeing in the cards you're moving on if they did a spell recently to bring you back and they're getting a, they're doing an energy update to see if the spell worked, the re, the cards are saying you moved on. This is someone that obviously with a deck of cards and they're daydreaming. I feel like somebody was in their mind thinking, hmm, I could find another way to get you back. But yeah, they see you finishing up that damn cycle still, all right? What they ask is here, okay? Inner strength. Somebody be like plugged in and in. It's almost like plugged in and like trying to like suck or feed off of your inner strength that's in your mental strength somebody was definitely studying you the person who you moved on from some of y'all have those dice in your mirror in your car all right yeah this karmic man they was attached to you that's why they'll think about you all day and they was even thinking about sending you attachments not only, not only did they think it but they did do it they thought even like thinking negatively towards you would like attach itself to you like those thoughts that energy because they knew thoughts was energy that's all they had to learn was that thoughts was and i'm telling you this person's a robot they was programmed to be this way i feel like Whoever they're um wherever wherever they come from or wherever their their true creator is, all right. Program their souls to be this this way. I don't feel like there's no speck of God within them. I don't feel like this person is a god. I told you you'll be able to discern the god and the goddess, all right? Because how the way they live, this person ain't, ain't righteous. They ain't no god, all right. I feel like this person trying to manifest against your strength by attacking your strength. All right, but you have too much strength. Your strength is not just inner, it's also outer. And I feel like you don't need this person, love, or relationship to be to feel strong. And like they trying to say you need them to be strong, ill. All right, it's like y'all could have found a better, stronger soulmate con connection, like your twin flame soulmate. You guys keep focusing on the grind, on the grind. Y'all could be on the gram. Yeah, I feel like, man, people just love you. All right, I don't know why I'm seeing, like... You you may have you may be getting a lot of attention online on the gram or I feel like you're it's like you may be receiving a lot of attention like equivalent to um like a concert or something like that. Money, you gotta learn how to do this on your own. Okay. Go ahead, fix it. Uh, yeah, you have a deep psychic knowing and I feel like that's what's gonna make you known. And these people want you to give up on that and try to make you feel like you crazy. I'm gonna try to make you, I'm gonna do a spell to make you feel like you crazy so you won't even yeah, that's exactly what they did. I'm going to do a spell to make you think you crazy. Now, look at them. They spiraling out, thinking about bills. Can't stop overthinking about bills. All right, they just fucked up. Now you get, you stupid witch. You, you stupid witch. Okay, you was not a good witch. You was horrible. Okay, you are a horrible witch. I'm trying to say they sweet. You ain't sweet. You a piece of shit. All right. <laughs> and with this community, I feel like a lot of people talking about you, but in whatever... All right, I feel like you guys had a like a whole community of people against you too, bandwagoning against you because they all thought they were gonna win some type of prize attacking you, and they all got exposed for being incubuses and suck you business. Some of them got exposed for just only wanting to have sex with you. Like that was your mission with me, had nothing to do with God. You just use God as a figurehead. You're going to hell. You're going to hell for that. Absolutely, positively, 100 percent. You have to. You're a liar. Don't be don't be getting scared. Always fucking scary. And I can't stand people that be scary all the time. All right. I feel like some of y'all could have went and got a reading done. And this reader told you to start fresh. Cut all these motherfuckers off. Because they trying to unalive you. They trying to put you to rest because of your business. All right. It ain't cool. And they see their life crumbling right now. And they see you are rising. And they feel some type of way. It's a few people. People who you don't even know. Who, who don't know you like that. Or who you don't know like that. They're just assuming the worst because they're not healed. And they all trying to say, I'm healed, I'm healed. I'm not that same girl back in high school, middle school. Yes, you are. You worse. All right, if you was to meet your middle school self, your, she would be like, damn, bitch, you worse than me. You was not no good person. 
And if you feel judged, you should. Because you shouldn't want to be the same child, this person that's running after penis. And penis that don't want you. you that's why you're insecure and unhappy. The hell? And you fucking comparing yourself to somebody who got all the eyes on them. That's why you over here thinking that somebody wants you. These cars want to say you unhappy and insecure because you calling out they karmic asses. You want to stay stuck in this energy forever? Go ahead. Be my guest. But I won't be fucking with your ass. All right? You guys continue to be of service. Okay? And, and continue to choose love. I feel like y'all love being of service. All right? You love when people come to you for guidance. All right? When, when they come to you and say, I need help, I need healing, you love healing them. And you actually get them to where they got to go and you want to your next client, your next appointment. All right? You, especially if you do readings. All right? You, you, um, you do, like, consultations or some consultations or whatever like that, one-on-one -on -one sessions. They was all, all these karmics that are just still working mediocre jobs. No offense. Even if it's a good job, it's mediocre for them because they can do better. They stressed out in that job. The hell, they making that much, but they stressed out. Okay, but anyway, they all felt some type of way. Like, I want to be a life coach. I want to be this. I want to be that. I, I don't even care about the money. I just want to live in my purpose and be free so I can have a nice life like Divine Feminine. You know, Divine Feminine and Masculine got all this going on. I can have that too if only I was a coach. Now, they, so they'll go ahead and do what they I do to be a coach, a life coach, and they still broke. They still ain't take a step, a step forward. Because they got to put in that work. It's not going to just happen overnight. Somebody was really thinking that way. All right. They wanted to be in your shoes. But this in their shoes, they wanted to be in your shoes. Okay. You was the their shoes. I'm telling you from their perspective. All right. They want to be in your shoes. All right. Their little inner child was very inspired by your spark. And they're like, I can do that too. But they realizing that they can't. They have to do a lot of studying, a lot of inner work. It's not easy. It's not easy choosing yourself over a karmic, especially when you've been giving yourself to a karmic for so long. Give yourself credit, karmic, that it's not going to be easy to de detach from this person, but you pretending that you moved on and you're so happy and blissing you're not. You're out here trying to destroy somebody else's happiness because you're just simply unhappy. You got problems, man. All right, yeah, you sad and depressed. You know you are. Some of these karmics are going homeless. going to be walking around with a duffel bag. You, you sad, man. Look, dirty ass house. Clean up your house. And stop worrying about somebody else's abundance. Don't worry about somebody else's house being clean. Clean up your shit. We clean. I know I clean mine every night. I know I do. I vacuum. I spray. Wash dishes. We'll put them in, a, in the dishwasher. Put up toys. Fix my couch. And I chill. Y'all y'all mofos. Y'all need to find a, a better routine. Not a routine of the full moon. The moon coming up. You know, or, you know, I haven't burnt a candle in a day. Let me go ahead and burn a candle. Let me go ahead. My, my new routine is brush my teeth, wash my face barely. Take a quick shower or, like, you know, uh, you know, wash up in the, in the sink. All right, every other day. All right, and then, you know, I'm going to go ahead and burn a candle on Divine Feminine before I go to work. Okay, and then when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Then go to the candle shop and buy more candles because I'm running out. That's, like, that's your routine. Like, that's your priority. Get your priorities together. All right, you don't need to be out here doing stuff like that, okay? But, um, love y'all. Bye.